All right, it's now time for the next part of my birthday special for Aubrey Man 62187. And this time, this is what I'll be playing. That's right, I'm going to be doing a Tournament of Champions of Jeopardy 2nd Edition for the PlayStation. I do have other games that are waiting to be posted, so I will get to them when I can. Hi folks, I'm Johnny. Let's just take care of a little business, then we'll get to our game. Tournament of Champions. One player. I have $85,400. From the Sony Pictures Studio, this is Jeopardy! So I'll do a Tournament of Champions for this game. Hi, and welcome to Jeopardy's Tournament of Champions. You know, only the very best players are invited to participate in our tournament. So congratulations to each of you. Let's get started. Thank you, Alex. I'm ready to play. And once again, I'll be playing for Aubrey, not for myself. Let's hope I can get Aubrey a bunch of money. Let's see if you like these first round categories. And Aubrey will be guaranteed a minimum of ten thousand dollars for this game. Books and authors. Okay. Well, duh. Famous friends. Edibles. Giants. And finally, presidential birthplaces. Your choice, player one. Books and authors for one hundred. This Leon Uris book shares its name with the second book of the Bible. What is Exodus? Player one. That's it. Books and authors for 200. With Pandora, this author seen here began a new series of vampire tales. Oh no, that I don't know who that is. I don't know. Player three? Ann Rice? Yes. Oh, Ann Rice. Player three, what will it be? I'll try presidential birthplaces for 100, Alex. All right. August 19, 1946, in Hope, Arkansas. Did Mom have extra spaghetti? I think. Layer three. Spaghetti. President Bill Clinton, yeah. That's right. Presidential birthplaces? For 200, Alex. January 9, 1913, in Yorba Linda, California. Who is Ronald Reagan? Layer one. Ooh. Uh-uh. Sorry. Player two. Richard Nixon. Yes, indeed. Oh, well. Your turn, player two. Famous Freds. For 100. This TV character is a Dino operator at a quarry in Bedrock. Who is Fred Flintstone? Player one. Yes. Player one, what'll it be? Famous Freds for 200. Bronco 
Physical Buster in 1895 was his first bronze sculpture. Layer two? Frederick Remington? That's right. Oh. Layer two, you choose. Well, duh, for 100. Samuel Goldman supposedly said anyone who goes to one of these doctors should have his head examined. What is, what is a psychiatrist? Layer one? Well done, yes. Back on the board now. Layer one? I'll take Famous Fritz for 300. Craven Raven Image, played by Robert England in the movies. Layer two. Freddy Krueger. You're correct. Your turn, player two. Giants. For 100. Before David cut off his head, this Philistine giant stood six cubits and a span. Who's Goliath? Player one. Well done, yes. Yeah. Good choice, player one. Oh. Okay. Oh, hold on, you guys. Alright, I'm back, you guys. My grandpa needed me for a bit. Let's continue on. Giants for 200. With his overacted imagination, Don Quixote thought these objects, like the one seen here, were giants. Oh, what are windmills? Player one. Exactly. Giants for three hundred. All right. The daily double. Player one, please make your way. Well, you know what? Since it's early, I have four hundred. Camera cuts to five. Let's do it. This giant movie ape has threatened tourist trams at Universal Studios. I'm gonna be glad I did. Player one. Who is King Kong? That's right. Nine hundred dollars. Giants for four. In 1950, the Minnesota Valley Canning Company took a new name from this. It's simple. What is the Green Giant? Player one. Oh, are you still at work? Oh, oh, oh. Do you have enough to get the leftover from that? Or is it? Definitely. It is a green giant, okay. Giants for five? This giant wrestler played Tezzy in The Princess Bride. Where to? Andre the Giant. Right you are. Player two, you choose. Edibles. For 100, please. Okay. Caviar is salted roe, huh? which are these items from female fish. Mm -hmm. oh, no, what are... Player one? Scales? Oh, okay. oh, that's it. No. Layer three. Egg? Yes. Oh, eggs. Matthew. Okay, player three. Bacon. What? That's making For 200, Alex. You want some bacon? Too. Just a spigot. Yeah. An old myth says never eat these bivalves in months without the letter R. Oh, what are oysters? 
Player one. That's right. Got it just in time. And we'll stop here for this part, and I'll see you for the next one.